Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Um, I'm very excited because finally my September scrawler box has arrived. It's actually the 3rd of October. It's never been this late. Usually it arrives about the middle of the month ish maybe a little later um i don't think it, i think maybe i think it was a problem with delivery rather than i think schooler box actually dispatched this well over a week ago because i got the email to say it had been dispatched i think there might have been some industrial action at royal mail or something anyway the chap just came to my door picked up a parcel and gave me this <laughs> which i thought was a fair exchange <laughs> Okay, let's go to the desk. It's obviously a well-filled box because it's bursting a little bit. Again, it's sort of medium weight. Let's, uh, let's go for the old rip strip. All in one, Johnny, all in one. <laughs> and let's see what we've got inside. <laughs> Sometimes we have to wait longer for something. It's better when it arrives, isn't it? Deferred gratification. Ooh. It's like a kind of a box in there. I'll keep myself in suspenders a bit longer. So here's the score to I'm not going to look inside yet because it'll tell me what's what's in there and I want to surprise myself. This looks interesting, doesn't it? Lovely autumnal colours. <gasps> look. Oh, wow. Oh, I love that. That's so good. I, I love it. It's fascinating to look at and I love the, uh, the way it's done as well. <laughs> it's got some kind of porn mag down here. <laughs> a ball and chain he's eating a chicken drumstick or a turkey drumstick oh look at what he's looking at he's a peeping tom <laughs> what an interesting picture now who's this by tia do you think that's pronounced tia tia jurisic oasia we've got some frisk paper it was like frisk papers so this is smooth cartridge paper ideal for drawing and scrawling with pens markers pencils and much more Yes, it is yeah, smooth, but not completely smooth, so it's quite nice. 180 GSM. Yeah, so it's pretty weighty paper. 10 sheets. Okay. Get into the box and find out what's inside. <laughs> oh, the last couple of months have been brilliant. Not that not, I always like them, but I've just particularly enjoyed the last couple of months. And have seen what's been i've watched some unboxing of other subscription boxes and i really think to be honest at the moment score the box is the best of the bunch what's the sweetie what's the sweetie oh, look at the sweetie oh sour belts oh, i love sour things <laughs> oh this will be one of those yeah i shouldn't but i'm gonna i could save it for the grandchildren but no no Lovely sour belts. Now normally the sweetie, the colours of the sweetie somehow go with the supplies. So let's see. Here's my sticker. Put it in the sticker pile. Fascinating folklore. Let's just I'll look at that properly in a minute. Oh, pit artist pen. Now I have got some pit pens and they're brilliant, but I haven't seen these jewel markers. I didn't even know they made them. That is really nice. Faber Castells are always good. Pit pens are brilliant. Let's have a look inside. Shame I just cut the box there. Never mind. Wow, what a lovely set. Look at those colours. So we've got a brush tip at one end and a, and a, a fine tip, but not too fine, at the other. It's a sort of soft brush, but it's not a brush brush and they feel nice and chunky in your hand so we've also got 3b pencil nice Ooh, technique eraser non-abrasive erasing sort of semi transparent stuff let's get rid of this and have a quick look in the school of zines because that will tell us a bit more oh that's not the zine <laughs> Matching. Multimedia paper, fine lines for seamless outlines, mark making and finer details. One end is a thick brush. So here's the uh, artist, Tia. I hope I'm saying that right, but that's all about the artist. Always love looking at Love the, love the style of her work. I'm a professional scuba diver. <laughs> okay, I'll have a good read of that later. I always like to have a look at these little tips before I, before I even swatch. 
Faber-Castell pit pens feature a water-based India ink which is slightly transparent, much like watercolours. So things to try, compressing. Experiment with building up layers of ink for intensity, shading and tone variation created by repeated laydowns of the same colour. Okay, give that a go in a mo. Avoid ink pooling by waiting for each layer to dry before, and before going back over it. Okay. You can mix the ink on a palette to create some brilliant colour mixtures. Yeah, but that's nice. Might use a little brush for that. While you've got your paintbrush handy, <laughs> you can add a little water to blend the ink out for some delicate washes. Just make sure you work quickly because once they dry, they're permanent. Well, that's good to know. It's because they're permanent once fully dry, you can draw paint over them with other wet mediums for mixed media work. The ink can be smudged and smeared to create textures. A dark sepia marker makes a lovely muted alternative to black for outlining. Best stored horizontally as it keeps the pigments in the ink evenly distributed. Oh look and here's the uh, here's the gallery. I always loved a gallery. Now what in bloom? I can't even remember doing this one now. I think I did. Oh it was the uh, yeah, it was the acrylic inks. Oh, I loved these inks. I do remember now. I think for the actual challenge, I did some pansies, but I, I, I played around and did. Um, I was playing around with one of my peekaboo books. Yeah, sort of did uh, plant inspired things. Yeah. I don't know where my pansy picture is now. Anyway, beside the point. Look at this. I always love sunflowers. Love these. Now, can I see anybody? Oh! Julie Spriddle. Now, I don't know if it's Julie S. Priddle or Julie Spriddle or Julie's Pr Anyway, it's Julie. It's Julie! <laughs> I know Julie. Well done, Julie. Getting your, I, I can remember seeing this. I can remember seeing this uh, picture as well. Look at that. It's also exciting when you see someone you, you know in there. <laughs> Car oh, Carmel. Brilliant. I know Carmel as well. How exciting. Two people I know in the gallery this month. Lovely. There might be other people, but sometimes people, it's hard to recognise people's names, isn't it? They've got a different name on YouTube and things, but I think that's all the people I know. But what lovely pieces there, aren't they? They're all, they're all brilliant. And all, again, as always, so many different takes on the same challenge. So, And then there's some, some of the history about Faber-Castell. It's a really interesting history. Actually, I've, I've read some of that before, um, but I will enjoy reading that again. And this artwork, this fascinating uh, piece of art here. Uh, created as a reaction to the events that occurred as a result of the global coronavirus pandemic. As always, I like to observe the situation from the funny and unusual side, in this case, celibacy in the home prison. <laughs> oh, quarantinder as a self-made phrase. <laughs> Connected from the words quarantine and tinder. The artwork is part of the series Quarantine Diaries, created in the first months of the pandemic. I got the idea while listening to my friends who talked about the lack of love life and how hard it is to meet somebody these days. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, I love that. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's do a swatch. Squatch, I was going to say that. 3D pencil. Lovely. Let's just try this, this nice rubber. It does rub off really nicely. nice and yeah, no damage to the paper so let's try these colors so this one is oh, it's a red a deep scarlet red what's well, a real sort of got a pinkish tone of red isn't it well, I'm gonna just lay that on there let it dry and then come back and, and do some more coats over it in a minute ultramarine nice it's great that you can scribble across like that but you're not getting scribble lines yeah as it dries it's all smoothing up there's a couple up there I wasn't very careful though but if you were careful you could definitely do it with no scribble lines. Feels a bit like using alcohol markers, but 
but they don't smell and uh, oh and I need to just have a little brush ready once it's dry this would be permanent but at the moment oh no it's dried already so it does dry pretty fast and now that's not going anywhere with the water yeah it is a little bit but I'm, I think that's because I'm now really working into it I think if I left that to dry it probably I'll, I'll come back and try it on the red in a bit so if I wanted to Yeah, nice. So you can get real watercolory effects with it. I'm doing my usual haphazard swatching, aren't I? <laughs> oh, look at that gorgeous orange! I do love the way they lay down so nice and smoothly. Look at that, they're lovely to use. It's hard to tell which is. Which end is with? Oh, right. So I've got a fine line that end and a thick line that end. It's very easy to tell if you're not daft. Yep. Yeah. Feels great. Now that is dry. Let's try going over the top and see how deep I can get this red. And then also let's try. Let's try mixing a couple on the. Mixing them here. Do you know, no matter how lovely the boxes are, I always end up saying, oh, I just wish I had whatever. Now I'm just wishing for a yellow. <laughs> oh, that makes a nice colour. Yeah, they mix together really nicely. So if I was really quick, can I blend them on the paper? Yeah. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. How deep can we go with this? That's a third layer on that one. And then there's this dark sepia brown. Is it called dark sepia? Yeah, dark sepia. Oh, it is very dark. I can see what they mean. It's kind of um, it's dark, but it, it it for outlining and and adding texture and things. It's 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 nicer than black. It's it's gentler than black. If you put the black and the blue together, you would get an even darker color. Maybe let's have a go. got them watered down now of course but yeah you're getting an almost black shade there so yeah they're lovely they feel really lovely to use I'm just gonna have one more so that was three layers I'm just gonna see if I can go over one more time I think that's about as much as I'm gonna be able to do but start start to feel the paper filling up a little bit but yeah definitely look so that was one layer this is now four layers and that was the red laid over the orange when they were dry. That was the green and blue blended together in the middle. But you have to be quick. They do dry pretty fast. Which is surprising as they're water-based. But look how smooth when I just threw that on quickly. That just Those scribble lines are just smoothed away as it's dried. Oh, I'm going to enjoy using these very much. Yeah, so what is the um, challenge? Fascinating folklore. Curiouser and curiouser, this month's box is inspired by our featured artists' Balkan-inspired illustrations. From folklore tales to unique customs, we encourage you to take a deep dive into exploring the celebrated, bizarre and sometimes dark traditions of your heritage. Play around with composition patterns and mix up your mark making to tell your tales in your creations. We had our Inspired by Fairy Stories um, collaboration not long ago 
so yeah it's kind of a similar idea to that so you know and I, I did have a a lot more ideas I hadn't explored so I'm, I'm sure I'm sure it will be easy to come up with lots of ideas for that one um so yeah really really happy with this really happy September 2022 scorer box I love it it's another great one really really happy with it I will come back in a couple of days and once I've mulled that over we're all busy with Inktober as well and there's a Schooltober set of prompts as well so I'm trying to trying to do that as well trying to do the two side by side um anyway so enough waffling about that another great box I hope you enjoyed that little peek thank you very much for joining me um let me know what you think do you like this box i know some people go oh no not more, more markers probably but i was i always love markers and these are really nice ones to use yeah i'll be really interested to uh, see what everybody else does with them and uh so yeah let me know what let me know what you think i'm i'm very happy with it and my mind's already uh, buzzing with ideas for the challenge i think that's a really that's gonna be a really fun challenge this month too okay um thank you very much for joining me and i will see you again really soon bye